Okay, so um, if you're on a Chromebook, um, you're going to be using this editor. Uh, I'll post the link in the classroom. I think I did before, but I'll repost it. But it's this uh, P5JS. Now there's a few changes. So I have them side by side here with processing. So then you can see the uh, comparison. The big difference right away you'll notice is obviously when you click the run, it shows up on the right hand side. Whereas with this one here, when you click run, mine shows up on the other screen. And I have to drag it over, but it's a separate screen. So you're that's that's one of the first things. Otherwise, um, text wise, what you're going to type instead of void, you're going to have to use function here, and it's because um, this processing is in uh, Java, which is a language, whereas p5.js, the js means JavaScript, and they both are Java-ish, but JavaScript is a little bit different than Java, and one of the big things is the word void doesn't exist. They use function. Uh, so you're going to use function setup. When we use draw function draw, if you were to use key pressed, notice which you've, some of you have used in the past, you would use function key pressed. But notice that the curly brackets are the same as before. And as soon as you use that void, or in this case function, you're doing the, um, you know, the, the word setup or key press or draw. And then you have your open, close, regular brackets. And then everything we want to show up will be in these curly brackets. Now, the nice thing about this p5.js is if you look here, our rectangle command is exactly the same as it was before. So let's say we start at 6060 and make it a 50 by 50 rectangle. You still need the semicolon at the end. That's still holding true. And when you draw this out, my rectangle goes there. If you want to fill it, uh, I don't know. Let's see if you can fill it red. Fills red. Now, what we were doing before was we started adding some variables in there. And we would say here, color gray. And we'd write it up here as a global variable so we could use it everywhere. And then after this, we would say, um, you know, gray is equal to color. And remember, you have to use the American spelling of it. And it would be this right here. And then instead of this background being that, we can just say gray. Now there's only a slight difference with uh, p5.js. And the big thing is instead of telling it what type of variable it's going to be, you actually just write let for all of them. And if I say let gray, it this tells p5.js there's a variable called gray, and it can change. Just like here, it's saying there's a variable called gray, but this one for sure is going to be color. It won't know it's a color one until I can actually use this exact same line, which is why they're so nice. There's those few differences. Um, and it, notice here it's all good. And then if I just type in gray, it's going to do the same thing. If there are any errors, it would show up here in the console area, just like they show up here for us. Uh, oh, and the other big difference was instead of size, it's create canvas. Um, those are the big differences so far that I remember, just with the basic shapes and what we'll what we'll be doing a lot of the uh, the basic things that we were doing. Um, mouse X, mouse Y, all work the same. It's just basically the the big things are the fact that it says let instead of telling it what variable. So even if we were to say um, if I wanted to set up an X and Y, I can do it like that, let X, Y. And then if I just say X is equal to 50, Y is equal to 70. And then if I did here, okay, now this is going to be X and this is going to be Y. It still works out no problem. I wonder if this will work. I notice how we're getting a different. Mm, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah. So notice how we're getting a different X every time. So the random still works the way it did before. And I took away 50 just because I want to make sure that it, it will show up on the screen. 
So now this will show up in a different spot every time I hit run. Which we've done with the draw and the key pressed, which would work on the screen here. Um, but just to let you know that these things are all working the same. The big changes are instead of me saying here, I would have had to say int x y. Because I tell it what type of variable it is. When p5js, it's really nice for us that we can just say let. Um, and it just says it will be a variable. Those are the big changes. Ellipse is still the same thing. And this one here, I'm just going to put it somewhere. Uh, maybe I can do it in the middle. And notice how it's still going around all over the place. Ellipse is the same. Rect is the same. Those are the big ones we're going to be using a lot of in the next little bit. So for that purpose, uh, you don't have to worry too, too much about it. So that's just uh, one big thing that I wanted to go over was the fact that it's function instead of void, uh, create canvas instead of size, and then it's let instead of telling us whatever one it is.